And while chaos erupts around the globe, President Obama does not appear to be all too concerned. And instead, he's spending his time on what he thinks is more important, like more fundraising, more vacation planning, and more golf. Joining me now to explain much more, Fox & Friends first co-host Ainsley Earhart is back with us. Hey, Sean. You know, especially the day when Israel begins the ground invasion and the plane is shot down, oh, yeah. he still flies to New York. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't go see the border, obviously, in Texas. Right. Crises, so. crises all over the world, and yeah, domestically as well, down on the border. So today he's continuing to fundraise. Critics are really upset with this because they feel like they're put, he's putting the focus on winning the election in November instead of focusing on what's happening around the world on this very day. With death of Americans in the plane and then so many um, border problems, you know, the, the list goes on and on. So today he's going to be in Seattle, two events in Seattle. The first one's at a reception at Bruce and Ann Bloom's house, major Democratic donor. The CEO of Bloom Company's commercial real estate firm. This is the family that paid $50,000 for Barack Obama's first inauguration party. This event will benefit the local Democratic National Committee. Then the presidential motorcade rolls across Highway 520 Bridge during rush hour traffic in Seattle across town to a dinner benefiting the Democratic Super PAC, which is a group that accepts unlimited donations, as you know, at the home of the former CEO of Costco. His name is Jen, or Jim. Singal. Then tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, heads to San Francisco for a roundtable fundraiser there. And then he heads to a luncheon for the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, where he is the headliner at the home of the real estate mogul George Marcus. And Nancy Pelosi will be there as well. Then he goes to L.A. for events in the evening, a reception and a dinner at a Hancock Park home of, if you watch Scandal, you know this name, Sonda uh, Shonda Rhyme. She's the ABC TV producer of that show, Scandal. And then on Thursday, the DNC fundraiser in California, a roundtable discussion. 30 people are invited to this event at the home of Michael Rapino. He's the CEO of Live Nation. How much is those, those tickets? 30, All right, tickets I think are very expensive. I couldn't afford them. Tickets cost up to $32,400 for one ticket. So dinner tonight in Seattle, $25,000 per person. Lunch tomorrow in San Francisco, upwards of $32,000. That'll buy you a VIP photo and a lunch. Very expensive. Then in L.A., the dinner ranges from $1,000 to $32,400. Then that roundtable discussion where only 30 but there's people no, are invited. There's, there's no time except to send John Kerry to lecture Israel. The world is burning. Gaza is on fire. Um, and our border is in all the trouble that it has. And the economy is still a mess. We just had a contracting quarter, and this is what the president, this is his schedule? Yeah, this is it? It seems that he's more focused about In the, the lead up to a 16 day vacation. Exactly. Yeah, let's get to that. Martha's Vineyard, vacation. Let's start with the house. Accommodations from August 9th to August 24th. It's a 16 day vacation. $12 million estate on a 10 acre lot. It's a 8,000 square foot house. Seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, expansive water views, infinity pool, a hot tub, dual tennis, and basketball court. All right. Well, uh, while he's there, he will be golfing, of course, and bike riding. Is he going to wear that? That dopey hat that he wears. We'll be taking some pictures of him. Yeah, hopefully, I'm sure. and Showing that on oh. your show. Is he going to be using those one-pound weights and doing the, <laughs> the one-pound weight thing? I know, I know. But oh, just oh, to give you an that's idea, that's it. There's the hat. The average family oh. in America goes on a vacation for 3.8 days. He's taking a 16-day vacation, and not to mention the airspace will be off limits for the summer residents there well, on Martha's Vineyard. So they're upset about that. So what about the 50 million Americans in poverty, 50 million Americans on food stamps, 16-day vacation? And by the way, he's played golf how many times since he he's been president? He needs a break from all that fundraising. All the, yeah, exactly, as he's <laughs> tired from the fundraising. All right, then there's also a report out in the L.A. Times saying that he could be buying a house in California after uh, his election, or after um, 2016, leaves office, yeah. he leaves office, then he'll move there. Location is Rancho Mirage. The cost listed at $4.25 million. It has a pool with a waterfall, a 20-foot waterfall, a putting green, gym, and two spas, and a rock lagoon. The community, it's gated. It's also the same neighborhood where Frank Sinatra, Bob Hope, and Bing Crosby once had estates as well. You have pictures of the house? We do have pictures of the house. Yeah. Take a look at this massive house. And yeah. the LA Times is confirming that it's in escrow. Um, is that the whole house there, the whole acres. thing? That's the whole, that's the whole piece of property. Wow. Look at that long driveway. So this, this, is, this is the whole house? That's the whole house. It's... Uh, Four point two five like million dollars. One, two, three, four houses. Yeah, word on the street is he doesn't want to move back to Chicago. They're also looking at New York City, but they have their eye on on this house. And according to the LA Times, it's an escrow. Pretty shocking. Angelie, great report. Sure. Unbelievable. Thank you.